Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am very, very excited today because I am going for overall win number 950, and I am back doing another team pizza challenge with my friend Nathan Figueroa. We've done a few challenges, not just pizza challenges over the years, but we are here. I don't know if it's the first time for him, but it is for me. We're both in Satellite Beach, Florida, which is on the Space Coast, just like Titusville, where I was, I think, about a week ago, but we we are here at Papagallo's Beachside. It's called that because it really is beachside. Uh, it's like a minute away from the beach. It is literally the windiest place in the world. So <laughs> we are hoping to become the second team to dominate. They are about 11 pound, 16 inch by 24 inch, Monster Gallo Pizza Challenge. 10 teams have tried. Only our friends Michael and Casey have been able to win. You just have to have two toppings throughout the whole pizza. We decided to get a little bit cocky. I went with a buffalo chicken pizza on my side. I made sure there's no blue cheese, but there is a really cool looking sauce with like a cream cheese, buffalo sauce, and scallions. There's also some real bacon crumbles on top. Over there, he's actually got the two toppings. He went with a Hawaiian pizza with healthy ham and got some pineapples there. There's five pounds of crust total, so we've got one hour to finish. If we fail, it's only gonna be $28, but if we win, we'll get our meals free. We will each get a sweet t-shirt to add to our collection, and we'll be the second team with our name and photos up on the wall of fame. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's get this challenge started. All right, let's get win number 950. Big thank you to the owners, Dave and Trish, here at Papagallo's for having us in to take the challenge. Our friends, Michael Jenkins and Casey, they've got the record, which is 24 minutes and 46 seconds. So how do you think we're gonna do? We're gonna beat it. We're gonna smash it. Let's get it started. One, two, three. Boom. Boom. All right. This sauce is very unique, so I'm excited to try it. That is a thick pizza. Thick double C. Need no, are you going to eat the crust? Or are you gonna save that uh, to mm. the end? I'm gonna eat it as I go. Okay. What's the dressing on top? Ranch? I thought this was a healthy challenge, but there is homemade ranch on top. It is delicious, so it's worth it. I think yours is bigger than mine. I hear that a lot. I'm gonna try Eat as much uh, as you want. I'm gonna try one of Randy Santel's pizza up here. This is one of the better buffalo chicken pizzas I've had. A super amount of crust, but also a lot of toppings, too. Chicken buffalo ranch. I can definitely taste the cream cheese in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the base of it is not marinara sauce. It is a cream cheese with a bunch of hot sauce. You could smell it as they were putting it on. I've got more of my half complete now than Nathan. <laughs> so I am gonna sip on some Dragon Point IPA. It's a local beer. That is freaking excellent. I'm gonna have a slice of his later on. I think I'm gonna get a little bit flavor fatigued with all this cream cheese. This is definitely the thickest crust pizza challenge I've ever done. Might be the thickest crust pizza I've ever had. And this is Sicilian. Sicilian meaning that it's in the rectangular shape. We're 10 minutes and 13 seconds in. Halfway done once I finish this. 
half the pizza is done, this is definitely the thickest pizza I've had. If this pizza was this thick and like 30 inches diameter, we would need like three more people to help. <laughs> or a Molly and somebody else. Twenty-four, twenty-six was the record. We'll see. This IPA is delicious, so thanks for the recommendation. I am starting to get a little bit tired of the uh, cream cheese and the buffalo, but still very happy I went with it. We're gonna get it. Three-fourths done. So we're gonna um, help out Randy because he's having fav flavor fatigue. So he's gonna take one of mine, and I'm taking one of his. Look at the ones he left me with. One of Max Crest. Nathan's gonna put me on his shoulders and get us over the finish line. I'm about ready to be taken out to the pasture. I got a few good years left still in me, but not that many. We don't have much left. We're getting there. I'm almost done with my side. Hopefully Nathan gets going on his. So in order to break the record, we need to eat this in seven more minutes. But there's no rush. Nineteen minutes, twenty seconds in. As Nathan loves to say, this is not a race; it is not a contest. But we are trying to beat the record. Thank glad Nathan is a teammate. This is only going to make sense if you're into cycling. But my side is like riding on gravel. His side is like cycling on pavement. So you're able to go faster. But I'm glad that he didn't do a, a topping set this hard. That was your choice. The what? I don't always make the best decisions. If we beat the record thanks to Nathan, I'm gonna send them 20 buck PayPal. and 14 seconds is the new record for the Monster Gallo Team Pizza Challenge here at Papa Gallo's Beachside in Satellite Beach, Florida on the Space Coast. Big, big thank you, the MVP of this team challenge tonight, Mr. Nathan Figueroa. I thought the pizza was amazing, especially the ham, ham and pineapple. Randy kind of screwed himself. I did, yeah, no, I did enjoy the ham and the pineapple, the Hawaiian pizza. As far as deliciousness goes, I'm really happy with the buffalo chicken pizza. Again, it did not have blue cheese. Nothing should ever have blue cheese. I agree. It did have their homemade ranch. Overall, just delicious challenge. We are going to get our $28 pizza for free. I think it's $28 if you each do two toppings. So ours was probably a little bit more expensive than that. We are each going to get sweet t-shirts at our collections, and we'll have the second team photo with our names up on the Wall of Fame. So big thank you to Nathan. If you're not already, be sure to follow his social media. All the links are down in the description. For me, it was big win, overall win, number 950. So just 50 more to go until I get to the big 1,000 mark. So gonna be doing a challenge down in Stewart, Florida tomorrow. I think I might be doing one more challenge with Nathan before I leave Florida for the month. Also, let's give credit where credit is due. This has been one of the best IPAs I've ever had, especially while eating food. But it is a Dragon Point IPA, which is made by Intercoastal Brewery, which is local near Satellite Beach. But thank you guys for watching. Nastravi.